when I got finally got married and I had a daughter Tallulah who's a singer and songwriter working at the moment in Berlin on her third album and I had we were on I had a very great friend called Sarah Khashoggi and her ex-husband with whom she was very good friends still because she had seven children by him um, was Adnan Khashoggi who was a huge um, financial success, a big figure um, in the 70s and 80s and I'd met when I'd recently got married to my Australian husband John Rendell I met Soraya at a party I was giving, she was bought by a guest we became great friends she invited us to go and stay and we we continued the friendship and became very close met her husband Adnan her ex-husband got to know all the children and I started to represent them I started to help with their parties to look after Soraya's profile because at that time she was reputedly the most beautiful woman in the world and even though she was divorced from Ad Adnan supposedly I mean he said I divorced thee three times but she was the mother of all his children his heirs and sons and daughters and therefore treated with respect entertained and I went to stay with them um, sort of high days and holidays in a place called La Baraka just north just outside Marbella up a hill uh, we either used a helicopter there or we drive there and and in the evenings, the first time I went, Adnan gave a, a dinner party and up came Shirley Bassey, who he adored and she adored him. To this day, they're very good friends. And she came up and she and Soraya and I became very close friends. I mean, we, we played together, we danced together, and every night after the various parties at La Baraka, Adnan's home, we would take the driver, we'd go and do all the clubs, regimes and all these clubs. Then we would go at about three in the morning to the gypsy camp and we'd listen to the gypsies and watch them because they were wonderful singers and then Shirley would sing with them and then we'd get back by about five and um, Shirley was uh, in fact had a, a house there and I'd go back with Sarah and they'd all sleep until noon I'd be up and I'd go to the beaches because I get up very early and then every night we get together again and we became very good friends and then I suppose over the years I started to do some significant parties for Dame Shirley including one when she got the um, Légion d'honneur and I did a party for uh, the French Embassy in London and the last huge party I did which was about five years ago was to celebrate her 70th birthday and that was a phenomenal party and actually my daughter was the only person who sang Shirley did sing happy birthday to me she did a sort of Marilyn Monroe thing but my daughter Tallulah was uh, got up and sang one of Shirley's songs which was absolutely amazing So yes, the charity work, I, I love it, that's why I do it, it is hard work, right now I'm involved in putting on a clay shoot at um, a wonderful a place that Holland and Holland, who's one of our premier gun makers, have in um, just outside London, shooting grounds, and what I do is I have about 100 people, where they arrive at breakfast, I put teams together, people who've never shot clays before and um, they go around, they become quite competitive and then I give trophies for best dressed gun, sheer effort as well as top gun and top team but you know I bring humour into it and then we have an auction and then you know we have all kinds of things that happen. I happen to love doing it you know, when you enjoy doing something in life, you tend to do it a lot better than when you're doing it, as it were, under sufferance or because you have to. 
which is my advice to anybody in this world. You know, as far as I know, we only have one life. And it's a good idea to then be doing something you enjoy, not merely because at the end of the day, you know, you happen to have a paycheck which is going to pay for perhaps a, a few hours of pleasure. But it's far more important to be actually in your life, filling it with things that you love, even if at the end of the day life is perhaps a little bit more of a financial struggle. You and, your, you and yourself are going to be a happier person.